What up YouTube? It's Luca and today it's finally time. We're finally going to venture into the new 1.16 nether on my survival Minecraft world. So I'm looking for a few things. Uh, I want to look for the warped vines because I want to use those as ladders for in the castle. Uh, I also want to try and find some ancient debris and maybe get a full set of netherite armor. The tools are fine, but I kind of want full netherite armor by the end of this episode. Also, I might try to look into bringing a piglin home with me so that I can give him gold and he'll give me, he'll give me stuff. But yeah, this is going to be a very exciting episode. So yeah, smash a like if you're hyped and I should probably about get to the nether. Okay, so here we go. So we're looking for the new nether stuff. I think it's going to be pretty easy to find because actually I haven't been in the in the nether a whole lot, just to the four. Oh well, guessed. But as I said, I haven't been in the nether a whole lot, just to the nether fortress and back. So also, before I go any further, I should probably put on a golden helmet so that the piglins won't target me. I thought you had to be wearing full golden armor, but no, you just have to wear one piece of golden armor to make them ignore you. Look, I can walk right up to him and he doesn't care. Get away. You, we don't like you here. Oh yeah, here. Yeah, we, it seems we stumbled upon a soul sand valley. Not really that interesting. Of all the biomes, I'd say the soul sand valley is probably the least interesting. Just because soul soil and soul sand are pretty interchangeable. And soul sand you can find everywhere. Um, anyway, is there any appropriate way to go? It looks like I could probably make my way over here. There we go. Okay, so we're already seeing new nether features kick in. So that's a good sign. Now let's hope we can come across the ones I'm looking for quickly. So that we don't have to travel all over the place. Can I make this? Yeah, this is safe. Oh hey look, here's one, here's one of those baby striders riding an adult strider. And is that, is that a different nether fortress? No wait, I think, I think I might have been here once before. I'm not sure though. Anyway, if I've been here, that means we got to get out of here. Got to go further away from the already loaded chunks. There you go. Anyway, there's a cave opening here. Oh, there's a war, a crimson forest. It looks like. Not the forest I was looking for. But I must admit, this one is also pretty awesome.
I could, I could of course use these weep, weeping vines. Is that what they're called? I think so. These weeping vines, I could use them as ladders. But I feel like they wouldn't really fit. The warped vines are blue. So they fit more with the castle. They're more like actual vines. Wait, please, skeleton, leave me alone. I'm trying to snipe a guest here. Oh god. Yeah, no, the... <laughs> Get away. The hunt is on. Again, <laughs> I guess. But this is a normal nether fortress. We might also encounter a bastion. But I don't know how likely those are to spawn. Oh, hello. I'm being attacked. By all sorts of stuff. Go away. Okay, what I'll probably just do is I'll probably cut away for now and just oh God, report back if I've found something because I can't com commentate and concentrate at the same time. So I'll see you guys in a while, maybe. Okay guys, I thought I just stumbled upon just a, ba a basalt biome, but as you can see over there in the distance, there's some uh, of the wheat. No, this is not the weeping finds, these are the warped finds. Or whatever they call they're called. I guess I'm about to find out what they're called. Yep, it definitely looks like we've stumbled upon one of the biomes. This is the best new biome, like. I will not let anyone uh, discourage me from that. Anyway. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many of these I need. But I guess if I get three stacks or something. Twisting vines, that's what they're called. Oh god, I'm getting shot at. No, stay back. You too. Anyway, I should probably figure out... Uh, I, I think I can make this fall. There we go. Alright, so this is it. This is the promised biome. Now I'm just going to gather up a lot of... Uh, a lot of how, how am I going to mark this? Mark this. Go up. Anyway, now I'm just going to harvest this. Wait, um, let, me, let me do a little bit of testing. If I silk touch this, I get one or two. If I silk touch it... Okay, if I, so if I do this, it goes a lot faster. Got it. I'll mine all of this, then I'll be back. So that is three stacks of twisting vines. And I think that is also the maximum that this biome had to offer. It's, it's pretty small. But I think this might be more than enough. It also might not. I wouldn't be surprised. Considering I don't really understand the scale of this build, don't let the guest shoot me off. Anyway, now that we have got the Twisting Vines, which was ob Objective 1, it's probably time to shift to Objective 2, which is probably find Netherite or Ancient Debris. It's all the same. Just let me goddamn hit you. <laughs> no! Look at this. There he goes. Yeah, so uh, mining netherite, considering piglins you can find pretty much ev everywhere. So it won't be that hard to lure one of those back to base. But first off, we need to wait down to the lava sea. Alright guys, I have found access to the lava sea. It's in a pretty nice spot. On the 
Jong Lee got some piglins or hocklings here. But we can deal with those. Go on one more, should finish them off. There goes one. And the other one is... Oh, he's coming. There he goes. Or it's all... Uh... I've already tried this on PlayStation, but here's the plan. I'm gonna drink a potion of fire resistance. And then see... Oh, it only... Well, that's handy. Yeah, now we can pretty much dig down from here. But anyway, I've also got to build up. And now I've got to... I'm probably gonna get some of these... Uh, twisting vines. To... Uh, to get down there. Or have a way to get down and back up. Okay, I had to get some extra weeping, weeping vines. But we're now at bedrock level. So I think the... It's... I think... The best, uh, or actually, I was told that the ideal depth to mine for ancient debris is at a wide 12, so 12 blocks above this, I guess. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Get out. Wait, what were we on again? Well, let me start over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 10, 11, 12. So now we're at the ideal depth. Let me cave a bit of a room for myself. Oh, what? Whoa, this and that thing just grew in front of me. Anyway, now we can start mining. Oh, I have an ender chest with me. The best way to mine for, <laughs> for Asian debris with beds, apparently. So I'm, I'm gonna need to throw some stuff away. So I think pretty much the way you do this is you just mine forward. And then so let's make our first incline over here, so you dig over here as far as you can, you place a bed right here, and you blow this all up. So as you can see that created a pretty big blast radius, let me just see if I can douse all the flames. It doesn't look like we got any Asian debris there. But I'll see. Um, let's do the same on this side. So mine over here, to bed, and boom. Oh hey, we got some over here. Oh, this is free. That's actually a pretty good pocket. I think they mostly come in pockets of two. So yeah, we already got some. Uh, so yeah, this is a pretty efficient method. It's not my method. I'll try to link the video of the method that I'm showcasing right now. I'll try to link that in the description. Not sure if it's gonna work though, because I've never done anything like that before. Anyway, let's uh, make another corridor. All right. So let me just dig out a bit further so the explosion doesn't obstruct my walkway. Anyway, let's try this again. Boom. Oh god, I'm, I'm burning. Yeah, maybe I should have fire resistance for this. Um, I don't see anything. But let's do the same over here. So, where's my bed? 
over here, place it, and boom. There's something satisfying about watching bats explode. Anyway, no, no one over here. And so we continue on. Okay, so from that mining session, I managed to gather 11 nether uh, Asian debris, which is enough for two, for two uh, ingots. I didn't feel like mining more because that was, is not the main focus of this video. Anyway, now we can upgrade some gear. I'm not gonna upgrade my my diamond armor that I'm currently wearing. But I've actually made a new set. So let's let's take the chest piece and the uh, the pants. Give me give me them. Oh there we go. And I immediately auto equipped it as well. So in case you don't know how to do this, uh, you need one of these, a smithing table, and I'll probably just go back up and place that next to the armor itself. So you pretty much put a piece of diamond gear in here with some netherite, and there we go, we got some uh, netherite, che it's netherite chest and the netherite pants. So I'm probably going to have to mine some more to convert the boots and the helmet and all of my current tools. Anyway, that's objective 2 completed. We got some netherite. Now I'm going to use these twist vines for the castle. So I already said it in the previous episode, but in case you didn't watch that. Hello Prince, in case you didn't watch that, um, I'm going to be using these as ladders for in the towers. Hey, where did you get that dirt block? Oi, where did you get that? I don't know, I must have left it somewhere. But as I said, I'm gonna use these as ladders. Also, this is gonna be the ultimate test, alright? So this is Soul Lantern. This is normal lantern. I knew it. There's clearly a, a difference. Soul, la soul lanterns give off less light than actual lanterns. I knew it. Maybe I'm gonna have to do something about that. Anyway, we're pretty much gonna trail this all the way to the top. Right, there we go. Is that all the way to the top? Yes, it is. So this is pretty much going to be our ladder. It's meant to like represent actual vines. Although it has more of a beanstalk feeling. Anyway, I'll be using this to go up and down the towers. So now we've pretty much got to do the same in the three other towers. And there we go. So that actually looks pretty good. <laughs> you can see them through, uh, through the windows. But yeah, these go all the way to the top. So I haven't put anything in these rooms yet, but I'm planning to in the very near future. So anyway, that makes for almost all of my, my uh, goals for today's episode completed. Except for one, I want to get a pickling and bring him back to the overworld so he can be our companion so that we can give him gold and he'll give us stuff. So I've already done this before so it shouldn't be that hard. I just need to convert some iron into uh, some rails and a minecart. What, what's he doing? Oh well. Get get in here. No, get get 
in here. There he goes. Okay, so now I uh, probably need to regain his trust. So, see, I'm friendly now. Okay, let me just lay a track. Um, it's probably best if I just put a block here so that it goes straight into the portal. And now I need to, to pretty much lose his aggro. I think, yeah, I think he's pacified now. So I guess I will see you on the flip side. Um, wait, do I need to destroy the minecart? Oh yeah, he's gone. Oh, he's now out into our world. Uh, do I have the minecart? I do. Um, what's the be what's the best way to go about this? Hey, buddy. Good evening. Oh wait, what? He turned into a zoglin. Well, that's. I didn't know you couldn't bring them out outside of the Nether. That might be a small problem. Come with me. Come on, just a little further. Oh no, he's bypassing the minecart. Oh wait, no, he's in it. Um, I need to, I need to make him get rid of that crossbow, at least. Yeah, he's still shooting at me. Oh wait, now he isn't. Oh, because I'm too close. There he goes. Oh wait, no, I need to stay close to him. Has he reached the end? I think he has. Um, let me put on my golden helmet again. And leave this place for a little bit. Let's see. Has he has he calmed down? Yeah, it looks like he has. So let's get rid of all the rails. Okay, here we go. We've now got our very own piglin, and I also need to give him a name. Here, he is now named Ruben. That's the pig from Minecraft Story Mode. Lastly, I'm gonna need to, uh, I'm gonna need him to get rid of that crossbow. Jesus Christ! Oh, hello. So let me just get a golden sword. There we go. Wait, is he gonna pick it up? I thought they preferred golden weapons. Anyway, let me let me give him some golden ingots. See what he does. Oh yeah, he does take a look at it. What the freak? How are you in here? This is too too small for you. Oh, he just gave me some ender pearls. Wait, where's where's the rest of the? Wait, what? I gave you I gave you much more gold. Yeah, but it's, it's all there on the ground. Why don't you... Uh, why don't you go for that? Well, they literally have to throw the gold one at a time. They can be, right? Let's see, what does he give me now? Okay, gravel. Not that. Uh, that's some nether bricks. I will definitely take that over. 
Uncle Netherwick. More gravel. And some obsidian. I don't really need that. Leather. Okay, I don't really need any of that. But anyway, that is going to be it for this episode of the Minecraft Pocket Edition playthrough. We did some interesting stuff regarding the new nether update. We got some netherite armor, which I'll, I'll be looking to expand that in between the following episodes. And we got a piglin. And we upgraded the castle with twisting vine ladders. So I think overall a pretty good episode. I don't, I don't know if I'll work on this layer. It's kind of uh, cramped in here. Anyway, check out my other series as well as more of this one. And I hope to see you all in a good mood in the next video. I'm gonna go now. Bye everyone. <laughs>